So when did the the idea of the bike bus take hold for you? So I had always been, I knew, you know, with walking school buses and bike buses go hand in hand. And some people, and by the way, some people do call them bike trains. So uh, your friend Megan up uh, in Hood River, uh, Oregon there, uh, she uh, uh, was on the podcast uh, uh, also recently in, in, in hers is, she calls it the bike train and she's the bike train conductor. Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) Megan's amazing. But it's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. When the pandemic hit, it was beyond logical that school buses were going to be overcrowded. You know, like you couldn't pack school buses the way we had. And Megan had been doing the bike train for a little bit of time. And then we saw this video in Barcelona go absolutely bonkers viral. Yeah, bonkers viral. It's narrowing in on a million views right now. I I was looking it up. There's another video, like another group of videos that has like 2.3 million. Yeah, yeah. It's So, I mean, for our world of transportation, I'd say that's pretty bonkers viral. Yeah, yeah. Um, So it was kind of on my radar. And then... In San Francisco, Mm -hmm. um, they were doing the bike bus, sort of like took inspiration from Barcelona. San Francisco had a lot, you know, there's a lot of uh, safe streets momentum going on there. They had the bike bus going on. That was looking really cool. And I just sort of saw it as an opportunity to motivate myself, but also just to bring more awareness to bike buses, bike trains. And I sort of made this call to action um, to do bike bus for Earth Day, yeah. Um, to sort of have a pseudo competition to see who would have the biggest bike bus for Earth Day. Yeah, and um, this is know, the so, this is the San Francisco one that Jeffrey Tomlin yeah. had uh, posted. Yeah, and there's just something really eye appealing, you know, like content appealing to seeing a bike bus. Right. The children on it, the, you know, hearing it, just the enjoyment, how calm it is. Um, so it's just, it's just been really popular. And I kind of sort of took this momentum that was being created and just wanted to do it at my school and try to, you know, motivate more people to do it. And so we did the bike bus for Earth Day at my, uh, I went, I'm at a new school this year, Alameda okay. Elementary right. in North Portland, in Northeast Portland. Yeah. And so we, uh, you know, we went at it again and we just sort of took a week off. And then I just sort of decided, like, I emailed the email group and I said, hey, do you think we could do this? Do we have an, are enough of you available to volunteer every, you know, every Wednesday? And, you know, we had enough paired volunteers. Yeah. And, uh, and so this is uh, the part of the route. We added a second route and the, uh, that's where the kids meet up. This is yeah. the big hill that we have to go down. So we sort of hang out at the bottom for a little while before crossing a rather busy street. Right. But that's, you know, this big hill we have to go down. There's the kids waiting. We sort of jam out. Yeah. And then uh, this is us turning right before the school. Yeah. And uh, I mean, it's so many kids. It's so many parents. <laughs> it's so fun. It's so enjoyable. I, I, it was, it was the night before the last bike bus, and I was just saying to my wife, like, I feel so fortunate and lucky that, like, this is the skill set that I've been given. Yeah. That I, you know, I'm able to organize this community, and they've shown up so incredibly. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just sort of reflecting on it, nobody asked me to do, to organize this bike bus. 